Well, Dr. Paul Dorfman is a senior research associate at Warwick University and a member of the UK Nuclear Consulting Group. Joins us now live from Coventry. Doctor, thank you for joining us here on Sky News at level seven. Are you worried? Very worried. A recent report by John Large tells us that the, the radiological inventory is about 500 tonnes in the six reactors. Uh, the spent fuel inventory is about 1,800 tonnes. Um, so that plays against Chernobyl's 80 tonnes. Now, we understand that Chernobyl was an explosion, but this is more like a, uh, a slow-motion car crash. So what are the implications? The implications are very serious. Perhaps what's equally serious is the, the, the slowness of upgrading for, uh, from a four to a five, then to a six, and now eventually to a seven, when it was clear that with this astounding radiological inventory and the kinds of, of releases that we were seeing, that it, this, that, that it was always going to be a very, very real problem. So why is it? Uh, that it took so long to upgrade to, uh, to a 7. Why is it that over the last uh, weeks, uh, nuclear proponents, uh, industry, and even our own chief scientist, Beddington, uh, clearly stated that this was uh, a, a, low, a relatively low-scale event? Is it now contained, in your opinion, or should other countries perhaps be anxious about what's happening at the Fukushima plant as well? It's far from contained. It's far from contained. Uh, the problems there are, are literally on, uh, ongoing. There are significant releases to land, air, sea and water. There's radioactive iodine in Tokyo's drinking water. It's a, it's a real problem. And this essentially is, of course, indicative of what happens when you get a real nuclear accident. They happen once every 10, 20 years. And when they happen, you can start to write off uh, a lot of people's lives. Even if it had been declared a level seven emergency at the time, what difference would that actually have made? The Japanese authorities would say that they've done absolutely everything that they possibly can at every step of the way. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that's true. You, you could almost say that, there, that in terms of nuclear proponents, there does tend to be a culture of containment and a culture of... Uh, um, trying to minimize the risks. And unfortunately, as, as we've seen, this, this, this doesn't work. The reality is, is, is that the original exclusion zone was far too limited. Uh, the current exclusion zone is, you could argue, also uh, relatively limited. But remember, what we're seeing here is a, a, a slow release of significant amounts of radiation one of the major uh, questions that we need to ask ourselves is what does this mean uh, for the world in terms of uh, nuclear and also certainly for, uh, for the UK. Now I understand that 100 of the 350 planned nuclear reactors worldwide were planned for the seismic area around the Pacific. Now if you're looking at the UK, uh, Chris Hewn is still intent, I understand, on providing us with a significant uh, nuclear uh, renaissance. The problem is, of course, is that um, it's not really going to do very much for our climate change problems. And uh, unfortunately, it might also take scarce resources from uh, better, uh, more efficient ways of powering our society. And a final thought, level seven now. Level seven is the highest level it can be, of course. Uh, but is your concern perhaps that this could, um, in the fullness of time, rank as high as the situation in Chernobyl? There's, there's no question. It, it, it is similar to Chernobyl. Uh, it, it, it seemed to a lot of us that it, it, that it would be a Chernobyl uh, quite some time ago. It seemed astonishing that a lot of nuclear proponents were saying that it was uh, much smaller, uh, much more contained. Um, it... The problem with it I mean, uh, is that it's, uh, it's very, very much ongoing, unfortunately. And the kinds of releases that, that we're seeing and the kinds of problems that we're seeing with the reactors, three, remember, are in partial meltdown, and the spent fuel ponds, uh, some of which are containing plutonium, 95 uh, tons of uh, reactor three contains about 230 kilograms of plutonium. And reactor three is in, is in problem. So uh, there's no question about it. 
It's a very, very real problem. And I understand that Hume has uh, incentivized the HSC nuclear installation inspector at Mike Whiteman to run a review on the impact of Fukushima for the UK. I understand that his preliminary findings are supposed to come out in May, and I'm slightly puzzled as to how, how uh, it is possible to make such preliminary findings. I also hope that that review will include uh, voices that so far haven't been heard and haven't been included in this very, very important and significant debate. Okay, Doctor, thank you.